Now, what is this k? This k is called dielectric constant. How to define the k? What is the expression of c? k into epsilon naught a by d. What is this k epsilon naught? Permittivity of medium. Of medium. But what is the original symbol of the permittivity of the medium? Epsilon. So therefore we can equate epsilon is equal to k epsilon naught. Therefore epsilon by epsilon naught is equal to k. From this expression we can define the dielectric constant. Dielectric constant is defined as what is epsilon sir? Permittivity of a medium. What is epsilon naught? Permittivity of a vacuum. So ratio between the permittivity of medium to permittivity of vacuum is called dielectric constant ratio of permittivity of medium to permittivity of vacuum is called dielectric constant k is equal to epsilon by epsilon naught c permittivity by permittivity units and dimensions also going to change and going to cancel out that's why dielectric constant is a unitless or dimensionless physical quantity because uh, this is one of the constant value where it has the unitless and dimensionless so k is unitless or dimensionless What is the one more definition of this dielectric constant? We can write k is equal to c by c naught. What is c? Here epsilon is permittivity of the medium. Epsilon naught is permittivity of the vacuum. C is what and c naught is what? Cut sir. What is c? Capacitance with dielectric. What is C naught? Capacitance without dielectric. Capacitance with dielectric. K epsilon, K A epsilon naught by D. Capacitance without dielectric. A epsilon naught by D. And this a epsilon naught by d and a epsilon naught by d will cancel out and the answer will get k. So k is defined as the ratio of permittivity to the medium by vacuum and k is also defined as the capacitance of the substance with the dielectric by without dielectric. The problem is like this. A parallel plate air capacitor means initially it has air as a medium between the plates of a capacitor has a capacitance 18 microfarad if the distance between the plates is tripled and dielectric medium is introduced in this case the capacitance becomes 72 microfarad calculate the dielectric constant of the medium see the cases capacitance as when the air is a medium is 18 microfarad we can write ca Capacitance as a dielectric as a medium 72 microfarad. But see this 18 microfarad expression is epsilon naught A by D. Whenever a capacitance plates are in between the plates of the capacitor, a dielectric is substituted. And one more condition distance between the plates is tripled. That means K epsilon naught A by 3. 
you got the point epsilon naught a by d is equal to 18 microfarad and the plates are increased okay the size uh, the gap between the plates is increased to three times of the original in that gap a dielectric medium is placed then its capacitance is 72 microfarad then what is k c right capacitance whenever a dielectric is k epsilon naught a by 3d is equal to 72 microfarad but we can write epsilon naught a by d is equal to 18 so therefore k into what is epsilon naught a by d 18 microfarad by 3 is equal to 72 k by 3 is equal to 72 microfarad by 18 microfarad 4 Therefore, k is equal to 3 into 4, that is equal to 12. Therefore, the dielectric constant is 12. For the case, gap between the plates is 3 pull and a dielectric medium is introduced, then its capacitance becomes 72 microfarad. Corresponding k value is 12. As we mentioned, k is a unitless dimensional quantity. Next, grouping of capacitors or combinations of capacitors. Capacitors can be grouped as two types, series combination and parallel combination. Series combination Second one, parallel combination Whenever two or more capacitors are connected in series, what will be the effective capacitance? Whenever two or more capacitors are connected in parallel, what will be the effective capacitance? These two things we are going to discuss now. First case, series combination. What is the meaning of series combination? Like a row, next, next, next. The second terminal of the first one connected to the first end of the second one. The second of the second one is connected to the first of the third and it will be grouped like a row, like this. C1, C2, C3. This is series combination. One end will be connected to the positive terminal, last end will be connected to the negative terminal and there will be a potential difference between the plates and the potential total potential drop is equal to the sum of the potential drops at the junction. V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. So like this. Potential difference occurs between the ends. So therefore, here it is V1, V2 continuously. Total potential. In series combination. V is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 here we are connected three so no problem connected to the terminals of the battery but we know that v is equal to q by c in series combination charge is uniform throughout the combination only capacitor V will be changes. Therefore, Q by C is equal to Q by C1 plus Q by C2 plus Q by C3. 
and we can write q by c is equal to when you take common q 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 q q get cancelled 1 by c yes i am writing what is c yes capacitance in series combination is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 that means the conclusion is what is the effective capacitance when two or more capacitors are connected in series the reciprocal of the effective capacitance is equal to the sum of the reciprocals of individual capacitances so the reciprocal of effective capacitance in series combination is equal to the sum of reciprocals of individual capacitances sum of reciprocals of individual capacitance one by c s is equal to one by c one plus one by c two plus one by c three sum of individual capacitance resistance is equal to 1 by cs if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus